Hi everybody and welcome back. So today we're kind of doing a product review and it's going to be in comparison between two products that frost glass. So we're starting with our base uh, glass which is this and I got it at the, not the dollar store, I got it. You can get them at the dollar store, I've seen them there. But I got mine at Walmart, it was 50 cents and so I picked up three and I was like, you know what, I'm going to show people what I've experienced with glass frosting and I've done it a few times uh, not on any projects you guys have seen but I made my sister a coffee cup with her name like etched glass etched in it for Christmas and it didn't turn out very well and that's because I was using a product that I was unsure of so I was like you know what maybe I will just practice a few times practice makes perfect as you know I've done a few projects where they haven't turned out the way you want them to turn out like you see them on maybe a magazine and you're like oh that's such a good idea and you try it and it's not the same and they say oh practice makes perfect so I have tried this product a few times now and I'm still getting the same result but let me show you the two products to start off let's get to that first so the first product I have is armor etch and so this is a an etching cream I guess a glass etching cream is what they call it and so you brush it on to the glass uh, that you're using, make sure it's a clean glass and you just, you brush it on or if you have a stencil you stick the stencil on and you, you put it on over top of the stencil and it tells you to make sure you put it on thick, uh, you leave it on for a few minutes or so and then you wash it off and it's supposed to give you a nice etched look. And I've seen the container and I thought like when I purchased it I was like oh like that's a really good job, It's that's a really neat product. So picked it up. And I also picked up this one. This is frosted glass. It's semi-transparent finish um, for privacy or decoration. Um, on the front it shows like a window. I got this one at Walmart for $7. Um, and I guess you can use it on your house windows. I don't really know. I actually didn't even check before I picked it up. It was just like kind of like, oh, you know what, I'm just going to pick it up. It's a spray paint. Like usually they're pretty good. And so picked up that and I picked up the Armor Etch. So those are the two products I used. This is how they turned out. Completely different, right? So the Armor Etch left all of these little um, like brush streaks and I've even tried dabbing. So the other side I put a little area where I just dabbed it on and it's kind of clear like it must have like it almost like when you put hair dye on dried hair, drying hair dye on your skin, it kind of rubs off, that kind of thing. I feel like that is what happened to the glass. Like it just, it rebounded off each other and just like canceled it right out, canceled the frost idea right out. So it kind of just looks like it's half, um, not even frosted. It just looks like it's um, when you leave milk in a cup too long. That's almost what it looks like. So it just... I don't know, I'm not happy with that at all. And this is this is a problem though, that this is how it's turned out several times me using this product. I've done it several times and it's not always been streaky, but it's a very faint, almost like a, a junky kind of look and it doesn't look like it's frosted. It more or less just looks like it's um, just something stuck on it, like a piece of sticker or something, like just not what frost should look like. So, side to side, like, that's what they look like, the original and the frosted glass. Then with the spray paint, I loved the outcome. When you're spraying it on first, it kind of sprays on very clear, like, you don't see the frost right away, and so you're looking at it and you're like, oh, like, I hope I did it right, I hope I covered all the areas, and so I'm spraying like a fanatic, making sure I got everything, and it turned out perfect. There's no flaws, like, it's impossible to mess up and it looks like this is the way that I bought the glass, right? I'm not even lying to you. It turned out so nice and so I'm so happy with this product. This one cost me $7 at Walmart. This one, I got it on sale for like, I think $10, but it's originally like $20. Like it's really, really expensive and it's extremely dangerous on your hands. And the only reason I thought that this would be kind of better is because it's, I think it's easier to brush a product on than it is to spray something because I always think that my sprays are uneven. So I'm really worried about that, but I actually had no spray problems when I sprayed onto this glass. And instead, I had streaky problems like crazy, which is so upsetting. It's 
Ugh, like it's a poisonous product. You can't get in contact with eyes, skin, or clothing. Like it says, don't breathe the fumes. It's such a dangerous product. And I mean, of course, you're dealing with, um, when you're dealing with the frosted glass, this is corrosive and, um, sorry, not corrosive. It's explosive. It's explosive because it's an aerosol. So you really have to be careful with, um, your cans. You don't want to use them dented or you don't want to leave them in really high, like, temperatures. And of course, you don't want to breathe the fumes of any aerosol. So that's, kind of like they're both kind of toxic so obviously you don't want to enjoy eating them for supper but overall if you're talking about the overall finish of the product which is kind of what we're going for here like comparison wise like it's night and day completely and this takes maybe five seconds to do you quickly spray it on and you're done this one you have to wipe it on like well brush it on or dab it on whatever you want to do and then you gotta wait for it to dry so you're sitting here waiting for it to dry and then you're gonna wash it off this is not only easier to use it looks so much better and I'm so much happier with this than this so tell me what you guys think have you guys ever used armor etch and if you have used armor etch and it's turned out good send me pictures like on Twitter or on through my email and I'll post them on my blog because I feel like I should be promoting a product like this. I think it's supposed to be a good idea, but I just have never had a good result. So have any of you guys ever had something good happen with your armor etch? I just, I don't know, maybe I just can't use it. And if you have never tried frosted glass before, it's <laughs> definitely worth a try. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. It was just fun and quick, and I will be using these again, so you will see these again, and maybe I'll frost them all because it just worked out so well. Maybe I'll frost over this one. <laughs> so I hope you guys have a good day, and we'll see you next time.